Hi, my name's Jim. Having grown up in a family of uh, very traditional Christian values, uh, I've only ever known what it's like to be Republican. Uh, at age 18, uh, soon after getting my uh, right to vote, uh, I worked on my first uh, campaign. Uh, I was a, a volunteer on a local uh, mayoral campaign for our Republican uh, candidate at the time. Uh, and every every election since then, uh, I have worked on or at least voted uh, Republican. And that included 2016, uh, when I made the decision to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, quite honestly, uh, I did it with some reluctance only because I didn't know Donald Trump. I felt like we, uh, we just didn't have a good insight as to what his political views are, at least I didn't. Uh, I knew that I didn't want to vote for Hillary Clinton. Uh, and so I went ahead and I voted for Donald Trump, hoping that it would bring about some change. Almost immediately, I realized um, that it was probably a mistake. And every day, uh, every day seems to be worse than the day before in terms of what this president has brought about uh, in this country, divisiveness uh, with chaos. Uh, and of course, with uh, what I feel is uh, outright corruption. So I'm approaching the election uh, for 2020. Uh, and for the first time in my life, uh, I'm going to vote for a Democratic uh, a candidate. Uh, I think Joe Biden is a good candidate. But, uh, but more importantly, I really think that our democracy, our country, uh, requires that we not have Trump in office for a second term. The first term was chaotic enough. Uh, I can only imagine uh, what a second term would look like when Trump is unbridled from any concerns about re-election uh, and, uh, and all of the concerns, horror stories, disappointments uh, that, uh, that I had seen in the first term, I, I think will be, uh, will be that much worse in the second term. So thank you, Donald Trump, because for the first time in my life, you've put me into a position where I can no longer vote Republican.